How about instead of let's play a game, let's review the YouTube beta homepage or homepage beta or whatever they call it. So we have this new homepage. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And actually when it first came out, I ignored it because I'm like, you know, YouTube never does anything right. But they actually did this time. What what got me was it said, you know, you can try it out. And then below it, it said, you can change back if you want. And I said, OK, well, if you're going to let me change back, then I'll go ahead and see what you what terrible atrocity you have wrought upon the Internet today. But it actually works. It works kind of. And it's good. It's not that they introduce new ideas that make it, you know, a better functioning YouTube. What they've done is given back crap that they took away from us before when they did previous air quote fixes. So I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. What did they do? Well, the very first thing and the biggest thing and actually something that they mention on the whole page when you activate the beta homepage is they let you see multiple uploads from the same subscription. It used to do this back in the day on YouTube. There would be a little box on your home page for your subscriptions. And if a subscription, if one of the people you're subscribed to uploaded two videos, <gasps> two videos showed up in that box so that you would know. Then they fixed it and that went away. And you could only see the last video that somebody uploaded. All the rest of them didn't appear in that box and never appeared in that box. And I actually, somebody the other day left a comment on one of my Metroid, I think it was Metroid Genocide videos. And I went back and I read the comment and then I watched my video again. And I mentioned in that video that Big Dip on a Bus was doing two LPs at the time, but because YouTube only displayed one video each day, I didn't know. And I had a whole backlog of videos to watch from Big Dip because he was doing two a day and not one. Oh boy, I'm ranting. But now YouTube has given us back the ability to see more than one upload from a particular subscription. And I love it. They all just show up right here in order. Um, I think the same person can show up more than once on this list, depending on how long it's been since you've watched a video. And uh, let's see if I can find one that I don't want to watch. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I really want to watch all of these, but I will do you a favor. I am going to open up my Let's Play with Ad Kit, and I am going to use something special that most people on Firefox don't have, and that is my right click and drag. You see that little green box? If I drag that over a link, it opens it up in a new tab. I love my little green box, it's so awesome. But now, what I wanted to do was, since that video is loading in a new tab, I can show you this. I can wander right over the video, and you'll see that there's this little X. Well, first I'll show you this. If you go over the picture, it gives you the ability to quickly add it to a quick playlist, or you can hit the button and go down and add it to, for example, a playlist. And since I put all of our videos on this playlist, let's play Resident Evil 5 with AdKit, I'll just do that. And voila, added to playlist. Awesome. Then I can click the button, and the video disappears immediately. YouTube kind of had this. Oh, and now there's this playlist at the bottom. That's the one thing I hate still about YouTube. Anyway, that is improved functionality. There's videos that I sometimes know that I don't want to watch, and so I just close them, and they disappear. They do still sometimes come back. YouTube still has that problem where you'll... Cl they had before... Wow, talking too fast. They had before where you could click the X and the video would disappear, and then if you reloaded the YouTube page, the video would come back again, and it's like, well, that's kind of pointless. This one, they still sometimes do that, but it's better. Second thing that's awesome... All right, there's this button here, the All Activity button. This is what you'd see if you activated it. And you'll notice that there's these liked sections. These are people that are on my friends list. And so things that they like, videos that they like, get show up on the homepage. I don't like that. It's too crowded. It's too much stuff. And so I just click the subscription uploads, and now I only see the videos that I'm subscribed to. The second thing, actually, this, yeah, the second thing I really like about this new one is it gives you your inbox back. Your inbox appears right underneath your name. YouTube used to have that when you had comments or 
private messages, up at the top of YouTube, there was a link that said inbox, and next to that link, there was a number, and it told you if you had messages or not. You could see if there was a zero or a number. It was wonderful. You didn't have to click, open the pull, that pull down menu, click on inbox, wait for the inbox to load, then see if there's any messages. Now they come back. This is a comment on one of my videos. If there was a little envelope here uh, with a number, that would be my in my private messages or a friend request or a video was shared with you I believe also shows up uh, for that same thing but I love that it's so cool and watch this I'm gonna open my inbox in another window ha huh? that's cool so this is the new YouTube homepage it is so so awesome and I love it but really it's just giving you things back that you already had everything on this page really was a function that used to exist on YouTube and they fixed and got rid of and now it's back and as long as it stays like this as long as they don't screw this up which they probably will it is good now in addition to this the other thing I wanted to talk about was this and the reason why we haven't seen the top of YouTube scroll as soon as I posted my Christmas video apparently I don't know if somebody was watching or what but now they want me to apply for partnership to take advantage of my popular video. The funny thing was it says it's my popular video and it, at the time it had like 500 views, which is great, but the videos before it had like, you know, 700 and then 1200. So what I'm thinking is somebody was randomly watching videos from YouTube and then they saw that and they're like, okay, this one got views, let's go ahead and do that. I don't know. I have not clicked any of these yet. I don't want to be a YouTube partner because then this becomes work. On the other hand, and also in addition to becoming work, suddenly ads are going to show up either in my videos or on my video pages or who knows what. And so I'm not really interested in doing partnership for YouTube. On the other hand, everybody keeps bothering me about partnership for YouTube. I know that if I applied for partnership, I think AdKit's done it before too. They don't like people who do Let's Plays because you have the video game footage in your videos and that's offensive to them. Unless, of course, you are you have so many subscribers, then YouTube doesn't give a crap. Just like uh, Husky and HD, two people that I'm subscribed to down here, or Force StarCraft II Strategy, and then uh, Husky StarCraft and Force Diablo III Strategy, they're doing, they have so many subscribers that YouTube gives them partnership even though all they do is show copyrighted game footage. Well, I mean, they show game footage, which could or could not therefore violate copyright. Anyway, this was the new review of the uh, YouTube homepage. I love it. I think if you're not trying it, go ahead and try it. Everything seems to work just fine. I'm not having any issues with it. And see how it works. Uh, I hope they don't screw it up because as it is right now, it's great. The thing I'm thinking they're going to do is just make all activity your only choice or something. That would be so stupid and it would be annoying. But that's it. And I feel my nose is getting all plugged up. And this is eight and a half minutes. So I'm going to say bye-bye.